All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today's video, we're gonna talk about a common question that I get, which is, can I cut the top of my fig tree off? And I think that usually means, hey, I really wanna prune my fig tree, but I'm not sure if it's gonna respond well. And I think a lot of people probably struggle with having a too large of a fig tree. It's just too big for them. It's either too wide, it's taking up too much space, it's growing into their pathways, it's growing into a fence or a wall, or they have a problem where the tree is too tall and they need a ladder to harvest their fruits. And so for a lot of us, we don't wanna be on ladders. We don't wanna be dealing with that. We also wanna have a tree that's smaller so that we can net it if we need to. Smaller trees are easier to net. It's easier to protect. Typically in general, in most cases for us growing fruit trees in a backyard setting, uh, smaller is usually better. So what I'm going to offer you guys is some suggestions here about actually topping the tree because we can actually prune the heck out of our fig trees. We can prune them a lot, but we're not really going to see good success. They're going to respond well. In fact, you could have the winter time kill the entire top of your tree and the following year it will respond by growing 10 to 15 feet. So it's not like pruning is a bad idea uh, or let's say uh, the end of the world for your fig tree. However, definitely pruning a lot is going to make your fig tree grow even more. So a lot of us don't wanna be doing that. Um, whether it's an in-ground fig tree or a potted fig tree, we're gonna look at two different scenarios here. Uh, first for the, the in-ground figs, like you see here, this is a Ronde Bordeaux fig tree I have. And if I wanted to control the size of this, which you can see the branches up here are definitely the largest branches on the tree. The best thing I would do is I would come in here all the way to the base where the soil line is, find the trunk of that branch and cut that off. And I'll do this probably once, remove one or two of those big branches every year, every other year. That way the tree is constantly being recycled because what's gonna happen is once I remove this whole system of branch back here, a new branch is gonna come up and take its place and grow into that light. Um, and so if I just keep doing that, keep recycling essentially, where I remove the bigger branches, the little ones come up and take their space, I'm eventually gonna have a tree that's size controlled. But if I were to come in here and actually top the tree and take off a lot of growth up top, it's not a good idea. Uh, people have uh, really bad experiences, as I mentioned, because what's going to happen is the hormones in the trees are going to change. And the hormones are going to favor growth and not favor fruiting. And what's going to happen is the tree, like I said, could grow 10 to 15 feet in one season. And so instead of you actually making your tree smaller, you made it grow bigger. I know that seems counterintuitive, but that's what happens to our fig trees and other plants when we prune them in the wintertime heavily. So if we're gonna be doing pruning, I would recommend guys in general, doing a thinning cut rather than a heading cut. So don't head back the branches, don't top the branches. Um, take out the entire system of branches at the lowest point possible. That way we're thinning out the growth and encouraging our trees remaining in that hormonal balance, but we're also encouraging this recycling process to happen. Now these two trees next to me are potted trees. I have them in three gallon sized pots. By the way, a really great size for container fig trees. And I would argue that a lot of you guys might be wondering, well, if I can top, can I top the, my fig trees that are growing in containers? And the answer is yes. And these two trees I actually did this to during the growing season, um, actually only a, about a month, month and a half ago, where I took the top off the highest growth point and I broke it off with my thumb. It's called pinching, it's called topping, it's called nipping. It's called summer pruning. We can even use our pruning shears. Uh, by doing that, we remove the apical bud, which again, changes that dominance in our fig trees and changes the hormones in our fig trees and allows them to then fruit, encourages them to fruit, and also encourages them to start branching out. And these branches will always try to form after, after we remove the apical bud because the trees are always looking for, the hormones are telling them to always look for the highest point, to grow to the highest it can so that it can get the most sunlight it can. 
sunlight's giving the tree energy. So why wouldn't it have that hormone within it? So that's exactly what happened here is I topped it. And now the tree has formed about four scaffolds on this one. And this one here has formed three scaffolds, which is great for the permanent structure and training our fig trees that are in containers while they're young. Now, some people may have just a fig tree that grows as a single stem whip. You didn't get the memo. You didn't top it during the growing season to encourage this branching to form. And so now you may have a tree that's a single stem whip that's quite tall in a container. It could might even be six feet tall in that first growing season. Figs grow very quickly, guys. So if that's the case, you can definitely top your fig tree. And I would recommend it because if you have a six foot tall fig tree, it's then going to form its scaffolds the next growing season at six feet tall. So you're gonna have a very tall fig tree that's gonna be very susceptible from the wind blowing it over, knocking it over, and you're gonna have all these problems. So the best thing to do is actually, if you have that six feet tall fig tree, at the beginning of the next growing season or enduring dormancy, bring it back and bring it back to about three or four feet. You can even go lower if you want. That'll induce the scaffolding like you see here on these trees. At a lower height, we have a lower tree and therefore, we won't really ever have a problem growing these fig trees in containers and having to worry about size control. Um, here's the main trunk, and then here's the scaffolds that have formed. We got one, two, three, and this is just exactly what we want, that beautiful structure we're looking for. This is basically training fig trees 101, uh, even though we're talking about can we actually top, uh, cut the top off of our fig trees. Thank you guys here for watching this one please hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button and check out my blog, figboss.com. It's an incredible resource for anything related to figs. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.